Good evening, South Bay families. My name is Tim Summio, and welcome to the Still United webinar. With me tonight will be Michael Quigley, Director of Coaching for Still United, and Blake George, Administrative Director of Steel United. We are super excited to have you guys here, and we look forward to answering any questions that you may have. Right now, I'm gonna pass it over to Michael Quigley. Thank you. Thanks, Tim, and welcome everybody to our webinar. Uh, <clears throat> this is my first webinar, and I would first of all like to apologize because my um, voice is starting to go, um, but please bear with me. Um, we are very excited to um, discuss the uh, opportunities and the future uh, that we see for Steel United as a soccer club in the South Bay and in the Southern California area. Um, <clears throat> we believe that um, the, um, the club uh, has a very bright future. Our goals of, um, our goals of um, creating better opportunities for players, uh, we, we believe are achievable through, um, first of all, um, club transparency, transparency and communication with parents, uh, transparency with um, our club board, um, communication as far as um, consistent field space and <clears throat> our fees, um, which um, through field projects and through investment, we believe we can uh, have manageable fees from year to year. Uh, that being said, we're going to open up to some questions uh, from the people that are out there uh, and those of you who are watching. Um, so uh, I'll hand it back to Blake. So we have uh, one question that's come in so far. Um, is why did you align with Steel Sports? Thanks, Blake. We've aligned with Seal Sports um, because they believe in investing in youth sports and especially youth soccer in the Southern California area as well as in the South Bay. Uh, in order for us to, to achieve our goals, we believe that first and foremost, we need to have manageable field costs. And to do that, we need the backing of a, of a company who's looking at the long-term interest of our club and, and the infrastructure of the club. Uh, which will enable us to do other things and, and really invest our resources in the things that matter, which are the players and the coaches. And with these um, the, these field invest field investments, excuse me, it gives us a chance to um, to reinvest those uh, costs in those things that matter. Like. Okay, um, another question, another good question that's come in. Um, which, which league uh, will the club be affiliated with? So which league will the teams play in in the fall? The club will be affiliated with the SCDSL league and our teams uh, will continue to compete in the same flights that they did this year. Um, we will be registered through Cal South. Teams can expect to compete in the same tournaments. Uh, if your team uh, this year was a flight one team, They'll continue to be a flight one team next year, a flight two team, and so on. Um, and we've had a, a, a long tradition with SCDSL. Our teams and our coaches have had a long tradition with SCDSL over the years. Um, next question, where, um, where will the main training locations be at? for the teams um, before any potential facility is ready for the club? <clears throat> Our training locations are in the immediate future will be Wilson Park, uh, Torrance High School and West High School. Uh, and as I said, we will be looking to make a longer term investment 
in a um, in a, a club <clears throat> in a in a longer term investment that the club will have a home in, um, and again that is the um, the investment that we are um, looking for as with our relationship with um, with Steel Sports. Uh, the training fields are very important to us. The quality of the training fields, um, knowing that <clears throat> you'll be able to train on a on a consistent space, uh, tra being able to train alongside teams of your own age, being able to train um, where you know you have adequate light and a quality field to train on so that the coach can accomplish his goals uh, week in and week out and that our uh, training curriculum can be implemented uh, successfully throughout the club. Um, also making sure that our uh, oldest teams get enough space to train on so that they can do the things that they need to do in their training sessions. Being able to, to play in bigger spaces is very important for those teams. Uh, and again, this is something that we are very much invested in in the long term. We want to make sure that um, that we not only provide these quality fields now and in the coming months, but also that it's sustainable over a period of time. And the steel investment um, is very much a part of that. Um, and the, the investment in our club and the investment um, that we're talking about um, is a long-term vision and a long-term goal for Steel Sports. Uh, Steel United is very much, um, as, as it stands right now, will feel very new to people, but at the same time, it'll feel very familiar because uh, we will be based in South Bay. We will have a quality coaching staff. Um, a lot of the coaches that you're familiar with um, <clears throat> are now part of Steel United and, and are very excited to, um, very excited in this transition. And Steel Sports is not just invested in, in our fields, but it's invested in our coaches, which is the best investment I believe that we can make in our players. Okay, next question. Um, <clears throat> will teams be able to carry over their histories um, and they've got soccer rankings? Uh, that's a very good question and something that we've heard um, from the team meetings that we've had over the last few days. Uh, the got soccer accounts will remain with the teams. Um, we have <clears throat> we have made sure that this will be the case, and we don't want anyone to to have to take a backward step in this transition. Uh, we want teams to be able to compete at the same level. We want teams to be able to compete uh, in the tournaments that they uh, have uh, achieved and the tournaments that they have earned the right to compete in. Um, those got soccer points will remain with the team. Um, as I said, those the teams will be able to compete in the same level of SCDSL, State Cup, and all the rest of them. The next one is, <clears throat> will you be hosting tryouts? <clears throat> As in the past, uh, for players um, that we've worked with over the years, uh, the tryout format and the team formation will be very familiar. familiar. Um, we believe that uh, the best information that the coaches have about their players comes from what they do on a daily basis. Um, so the players that are currently with their coaches uh, don't have to try out uh, for their team, what is currently their team. Um, but we will have open tryouts for players that are, want to join Steel United. And we've already had a, um, a very large interest and a lot of people reaching out to us who want to be involved in this and are excited about this as we are and want to come play with our players and want to come play with our coaches and <clears throat> are very much excited about this opportunity and, and uh, what we have you know, said and what we are willing and, and what we are promising that we will do um, to enhance that experience for all of our players. Uh, so over the next few weeks, um, specifically uh, next week, we'll hold our tryouts, there'll be open tryouts, and then teams will form as they would have in the past uh, as State Cup starts to end for those teams, coaches will be offering spots and teams will be forming within the, the next couple of weeks. Next question. Um, <clears throat> can you share any history of Bill United? The history of uh, Steel United um, for anyone who has attended our uh, team meetings, we've directed people to go to the um, Steel Sports website 
to visit the FC USA website and to visit the UK Elite website. UK Elite, uh, which will soon become Steel Soccer, uh, oversees, <clears throat> uh, oversees the FC USA soccer clubs. UK Elite has been operating uh, in the soccer um, realm in the United States for over 25 years. So they have a rich history. Um, their staff is, is top notch. Their uh, structure um, has been in place for that long and, and which is why they've been a very se successful partner of Steel Sports. And UK Elite, as it becomes uh, Steel Soccer, FC USA will also become uh, Steel United. Um, we will be one of eight clubs in seven states and very excited to be one of eight clubs in seven states across the country, which gives us a national footprint, gives us the opportunity to do things that being a local club uh, may not give you the opportunity to do, whether it be nationwide camps, competing in tournaments across the country, being able to share players, share ideas, share philosophies, uh, share our curriculum um, with them, and they share our curriculum with us, which is an exciting thing for for us because we feel like we've had success in that. Um, and being able to interact with teams from across the country in Washington, New Jersey, uh, New York, um, is something that we haven't had in the past. Okay, next question. Um, some great questions coming in. Our next question is, which coaches um, and what will the coaching lineup look like at Steel United? We, <clears throat> we being the, the boys staff um, at South Bay have um, a lot of coaches, 14 coaches who are committed to this project, um, which we believe is a long-term project. It's, it's something that we're very passionate about. It's something that we are uh, not just excited about for um, the, the immediate future, but for the long-term future of what we believe will be a very successful club over the next three to five to 10 years. Um, our staff for us <clears throat> is everything. Our staff is um, what our, co our kids see every single day. It's, it's the product that we put on the field. It's, um, it's again, what we want to invest in long-term and the, per the professional development our co of our coaches as is a priority. And because the more we can impact our coaches, the more our coaches can impact the kids uh, in a positive way, not just on the field, but off the field as well. Our coaches are role models. Our coaches are an example of, of um, how to behave. Our coaches are, um, give our kids a, um, you know, a passion for the game, and that's extremely important. Uh, and the staff that we, are, that we have <clears throat> is a staff that is experienced and at the same time always looking to grow and always looking to improve, which is something that we ask of our, of our kids. Um, we also have an interest of, from coaches um, outside of our current staff who are excited, again, like players and parents who are excited about this project and who want to get on board and who want to see what this is all about. In the next, and in the coming weeks and months, I think we'll be able to get that message across to people about what Steel United really is. Um, this webinar is just one of many touch points that we have with our team meetings, with our um, with the with the information that we have coming out, we'll have more information on our website. We'll have more information on our um, social media outlets also. Okay, we're getting quite a few people asking about fees and what will our fees? Will they be in line with what they've paid in the past? And um, do we have an estimate? of what fees will be at Steel United next year? Again, this is a big question. Um, we believe that um, club fees shouldn't be um, increased without proper communication and without uh, transparency. Um, the cost of doing business goes up every year. And if you provide a quality program, um, you know, fees will go up, which is, which is inevitable in any business. Um, <clears throat> but we believe that when that happens, you should feel like you are getting your values worth. Um, the fees that we will have at Steel United will be for, our, for um, the players that were with us last year, there will be a small increase. But for that increase, 
Um, we are putting our teams on turf fields. We are making sure that our communication is streamlined and we are making sure that people have an experience and they feel like that increase is uh, a, an added value. Okay, we have a, a good one. You speak of transparency, uh, communication as hallmarks of your club uh, ethos. Please share uh, your transparency. We understand that um, this feels like um, we have taken something, but in reality, we believe that we have, um, you know, what we have built, uh, what our staff has built over the years, and what we and our teams have achieved over the years is something that is our priority. And we believe that um, <clears throat> it's not a case of taking anything, but um, we have what, what, what has been successful and we want to make sure that that continues. We want to protect that. And we've heard that from parents. We've heard um, the issues with fields, with fees, uh, and with transparency and making sure that parents have a voice in our club and making sure that our parents are engaged in the process because we want our players and parents to be in the club, not just for one or two years, but over the course of five, six, seven, eight years. And to do that, we have to make sure that people feel like they have a say and feel people are invested. And <clears throat> it, it's less about taking something away and more about removing what doesn't work. Uh, and, and there were things about uh, what we were doing that didn't work. And so what we have done here is making sure that we keep what works and replace what doesn't work. Um, and that, again, from my opening comments, is why is the impetus for this change? Okay, a few people asking um, about coaches, coaching their teams um, during state and national cup this year. <clears throat> so um, we have uh, plans in place to make sure that um, our teams are not affected by this change. Uh, the timing may seem uh, difficult for people. Uh, the timing for each team is a, is, is a little bit different because uh, some teams have already completed their state cup runs. Other teams won't start their national cup runs. Uh, the youngers until the end of February and the olders until uh, you know the kids have come back from high school. Um, our coaches will be in place for the state and national cup games. Uh, that has been confirmed with Cal South, um, despite what you may have heard. And we don't want to interrupt that run. Our, our teams work hard all year, and state cup is <clears throat> the pinnacle of the of their season. And we want to make sure our teams are successful and our teams feel comfortable going into the state cup run. Um, uniforms. So, will uniforms be included in the fees this year with the club? <clears throat> uniforms has been a pain point for parents and players in the past. Um, we have a fairly simple solution to that. Um, Steel Sports and UK Elite run their uniform ordering through Soccer.com and um, Soccer.com is the, one of the largest uniform suppliers in the country and the, <clears throat> the process will be very simple. They, a parent will go online and order their, their size, their uniform, if they want any add-ons, training kits and that type of thing. Uh, they can do that with, with ease um, through our own uh, portal at uh, Soccer.com and that gets delivered direct to their door. A um, few questions coming in on college pathways. So will there be an increased focus on college recruiting resources to help players gain scholarships and placement to college? <clears throat> Uh, college recruiting is a very important part of this process. Uh, parents and kids put so much time and effort into developing and improving, um, and college is the number one number one pathway for players when they've uh, graduated from a soccer club. Um, <clears throat> with quality teams, um, we want to make sure that we have 
that we get our players in front of colleges. And um, I, I think parents always always look for that um, D1 scholarship, but in reality, um, our players need multiple pathways and multiple pipelines to get into the college game. And um, so getting players in front of the appropriate college coaches uh, is extremely important. Uh, Steel um, Sports and UK Elite and FCUSA um, have those resources to educate parents and educate players uh, on what the steps are as they um, graduate high school. Um, but, you know, really the steps before that, when they are, what they need to do when they're a senior, what they need to do when they're a junior and what steps they need to be taking when they're a sophomore. And those uh, steps are laid out very, very clearly. And through the current FC USA, they do have a national college program, um, which you can check out at fcusa.com um, and FC USA TV on YouTube, which over the next year will become Steel United. Next question. Can you provide some insight into the DA league future and pathway through Steel United? The, the importance of playing in the top gaming circuits is, is a big one for us. We always want to compete at the top level. We always want to be striving to compete with the best players. Uh, over the years, we've proven that we can develop boys players for those top levels, whether it be colleges, uh, development academy. Um, the development academy <clears throat> um, is, is something that is absolutely available for our club. We've had a very um, attractive application that we've been able to put into US soccer in the past. Um, but because, because of our previous affiliation, that, that really is a ceiling for us. Um, and our, our role in the DA was always to develop players for others. And we wanna be able to do that and continue to develop players, continue to de develop players at the top level. Um, but we also want to have uh, our own DA and be able to compete in uh, other gaming circuits. At, at the end of the day, um, our uh, Steel United will have no no limit on the game, the gaming circuits that it can uh, compete in, and, and uh, have no ceiling on those um, those applications that we can look to apply uh, or look to put in with those gaming circuits. Um, just going back to one of the last questions we. Uh, spoke to and just wanted to find out if the uniform will uniforms be included in club fees <clears throat> the uniform costs are not included in the fees um, the but we do plan and, and the plan is for that process to be much more streamlined um, the costs of the uniforms will be um, presented to parents ahead of time we want to make sure that people understand what that cost is involved and <clears throat> what you get for that money, um, which will be, as I said, it will be, all be on an on, online portal uh, where parents can go and, and select the package for their child and, <clears throat> and make sure that, that they're getting what they ordered. Uh, and soccer, being part of soccer.com means that we have a large customer service when something does maybe go wrong or a size is incorrect or a number needs to be changed. Uh, they have the, the staff and they have the experience to make sure that that experience is a good one uh, for, for parents. Um, and as I said in the past, the, uh, that's been a pain point for, for our parents and we've listened to parents and we've heard it. Thank you very much for your interest and response. Um, we've seen lots of great questions come in and there are still some coming in. Uh, Kathy, when will the Still United website be available? It should be up uh, soon. Lori, what colors are the club? Um, colors are pink, gray, white, and black. Um, and we will see you guys on the field. Coaches will be in touch with training schedules and we'll be in touch with our families and players.
throughout the course of the weekend. We understand that there's always a choice in the market of youth soccer. But what we want to do is provide a choice for the community that's going to be far and above uh, what is out there currently. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or Quiggs or Blake or give us a call or text. Um, if you want to look through the FCUSA website, you can go to thefootballclub.com. Um, if you want to look at thefootballclub.usa, if you want to go um, onto the Steel Sports website, you can just simply Google Steel Sports and read about their mission and statement and what they're looking to do to improve the landscape in today's sports market. Thank you for your time.